Welcome friends in this Python tutorial and our topic for today is recursion functions. So as we have seen earlier that functions are very useful. Now often happens that we want to use a function again and again and want to repeat the same functionality again and again. So in that case what we do is we use recursion functions. So you might be thinking what are recursion functions now that recursion functions what it does it it calls itself so recursion is a process of defining something and uh, in terms of itself the physical uh, and you might have seen this in if you have studied other forms of languages such as uh, query languages uh, there also we have uh, recursion functions now coming to this topic in python we have uh, how we today will be studying how to call the uh, the recursion function so a physical world example would be to uh, you know uh, calling uh, something so physical uh, python uh, recursion function uh, in python a function can be called other functions it is even possible for a function to call itself these types of construct uh, as terms as these are uh, constructively known as recursion functions so uh, moving forward you will be as we go ahead you will be seeing that how you know uh, our fact, uh, fact like factorial is one way when we use recursion functions uh, coming to what are the advantages of recursion function so advantages of recursion functions are that it makes uh, the code look cleaner uh, and complex tasks can be you know performed very easily but it is often seen that these function uh, now when things are we happen in a sequence then these are are very useful uh, but uh, there is one problem in recursion function that uh, it might o is often seen that uh, it's uh, inefficient as a lot of memory and time are consumed and uh, uh, hard to uh, because we are using recursion functions so they are hard to debug uh, is uh, hard to follow though so recursion functions are therefore you know a bit avoided because despite my you know at the time of coding it might look clean to you but at the time of debugging it's not preferred to use recursion functions so I'm right now going to show you one recursion function so this is the factorial recursion function okay uh, so let's see how it will work and how it is so first define a function over here so first we are defining a function so what factorial does it it uh, first gives us a number and then it tells us to multiply it with the number that is less than the number itself so first uh, to give it you a better clarity first we'll do a number without a recursion function and then we'll do a function with a uh, we'll do a function definition with that so there is a bit difference and let's see how it works so now let's start with it so first we take a definition of the function like normally we define a function
n is equal to 4 and now inside this we will take n and now coming to the definition part so first let, uh, let's do a function in which we find the factorial of a function and that we will be using a for loop first let's say that the product is equal to 1 So the uh, product come to, comes out to be 1 first initializing it now using a for loop and before that we can say that n is equal to n n is equal to 4 let's say for example and for loop over the from the above we can copy it as it is in range n and then we are uh, for every one every time we are printing for a uh, pro and pro into into our n minus i that's n minus i and so after running this now when we print our row we get 24 so first of all I'll tell you what the meaning of uh, a factorial is so it's like it's displayed something like this okay so in uh, python doesn't work it uh, the way we want it we have special uh, functions for that so what uh, it does is so when we want uh, if we are not from a sci math stream so it's like 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so 24 and the same thing does it uh, the above function does it so take n is equal to 6 so for that we can say that 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that's 720 and when we so first we need to reset up pro to 1 we call this function again and now when we print the row we get 720 so this is how it works and the value gets updated each time so this is what a recursion function uh, without using a recursion function how we take out the uh, our product or what we say uh, factorial but there is a similar one more method in which we will we are talking about that's the recursion method so for that we are first defining an n so n being 6 till now and if if n is equal to 0 and then we then we return 1 and 
else we return n into the recursion of n minus 1 okay so let's see what we get now uh, now when we print uh, or we can say rec with 6 we should get 720 so this is how it works and this is like if if uh, either we can even work it with 4 620 and let's see if it, if it works with 1 so 1 so it's working with all of them no issues and uh, it gives us the correct answer recursion is this is how we can use it but uh, you might be thinking that uh, is it efficient to use sometimes often it is efficient to use it in such a manner like see you can get the code over here okay now both the codes are same the same procedure over here like we are using the for loop we can do it with the while loop as well there's not a big difference in that but this is how basically the recursion function works now recursion function one more thing that I need to tell you is that uh, if you're coding and in, if you're into coding and stuff so it is usually recommended not to use this as you know uh, at sometimes it happens that in this you get stuck often you get stuck in this and when debugging as I told you in the earlier this time that uh, when you are trying to debug you don't get solutions as promptly as you should so that's why this is not as recommended as a normal method see because if in you go through the normal method you would see that you, we are using for loop then we are getting an i in and these are all normal terms and but over here we are also using if conditions else condition so this is a very small program so you can't get a extreme uh, you know a very good knowledge about uh, a good not a good means a in-depth knowledge of how does it work but you get a small an example for more clarity we'll be you know looking further and we'll be doing more stuff relating to that uh, more function most probably and that would I think so that would give you a more better clarity of the concept but uh, but uh, as I was saying that uh, recursion function basically is used to you know read more and more get more and more stuff one after the other and that's the way and no need to you know uh, if you are not comfortable it's no issue you can go with the normal way and that's very well fine uh, one thing to rem uh, you know to remember in Python is that uh, like see you can you can use the same stuff over here same you have everything available in Python uh, unlike the other languages like talking about Java you need to specify everything even for a function uh, like for the main also you need to specify first for the initial part then you need to start writing but here you can directly start writing so this is the benefit of python uh, much of the training part goes in and you know, don't need to recollect back much of lot that's the understanding part which you need to have so this is for all for today's video in the next video we most probably will be learning about how the recursion function works uh, and that we'll be using various programs such as Fabernacle series and other stuff. So stay tuned in and thank you for watching.